everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fall trends video. I'm gonna be sharing some trends we're seeing out in the fashion world. Um, and honestly, I feel like, well, whenever I do these videos, I never go on Vogue or like the runway, you know, like how you see in the magazines, it's like, these are the trends. And it's like, I would never wear that. <laughs> I would never actually wear that. Um, but these are things that are actually wearable that I'm actually seeing in stores, online, when I'm shopping, when I'm out and about. These are just things that I, I'm seeing a lot. So I thought it would be fun to kind of round those up, share them with you. Um, and there are a couple that I have some thoughts on that I probably probably won't be participating in, um, but that's the great thing about trends. You can really just pick and choose which ones you feel comfortable with to wear this upcoming season. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first trend I wanted to share is something I actually also shared in the springtime, and I'm not gonna lie, most of you were like not on board with it. You're like, mm -mm, can't do it. And I actually purchased a couple, started styling them, and you guys weren't really sure about it, but let me tell you, it's everywhere now, and that is the sweater vest. Yes, the sweater vest is everywhere. It's in all prints, all shades, all types, long, short, cropped. There are sweater vests everywhere, <laughs> and I knew it. I knew they were coming, um, and I really like them. I've liked them from the beginning. Um, I think they're super cute to style. I like them just as a sweater vest. I like them with a t-shirt underneath layered, um, a button-up blouse underneath. I think it's super cute. Um, I just think it's a really cute piece and yeah, I'm going to be wearing it this fall again. I actually wore it a little bit in the summer and a ton in the spring. Um, but yeah, I'll link a couple options of some great sweater vests that I have down below as well as some other options, but sweater vests, they're here and they're here to stay. All right, number two, I feel like we also saw this in the spring a lot, but we are definitely seeing it now, and that is jeans that are wide leg, that are relaxed, that are slouchy, that are baggy. We're seeing lots of jean trends going on. I feel like it's not like a one type of jean that's out there that's really trendy. It's just a lot of different options, which is really nice because you can kind of cater to your body type. I personally really love a good like wide leg denim. I think it's a really cute trend. Um, I also really like a good straight leg one that's a little more tapered but also has kind of that straight leg look to it um, it's something different than a skinny jean I think that we have done and done over and over um, but I'm not getting rid of my skinny jeans <laughs> just to put it out there I love my skinny jeans I still wear them um, but I think it's fun to kind of try other trends that are out there for denim so there's a lot of options out there I'll link a couple down below that I'm loving but let me know what your thoughts are on the kind of denim trends that are going on, what you like, what you don't like. I'd love to hear from you. Next up, I actually mentioned this in what I'm excited to wear for fall video that I did, and that is sweater and like knit sets. We, I feel like we've done the whole sweatshirt jogger matching set out there. It's been done. It's been overdone. Um, you still see it out there, and I still own plenty that I'll be wearing all fall and winter, but I feel like the knit sets we are seeing a lot again. Um, I feel like we saw them last year but this year there are a lot of options out there and they're so comfy and I am really into it I think they're so cute um, I actually just got this set right here that I'll share um, it's like a ribbed kind of sweater set um, and I think it's fun that I can kind of take the pieces and I can wear the kind of sweater joggers or pants and wear them with just like a t-shirt or a tank top and then I can take that sweater and wear it with a pair of jeans and it looks really nice as well so love sweater sets and we're going to be seeing a lot of them this year. All right, next up is something I have not purchased yet. I actually had a pair 
Probably when I started blogging, I had a pair of these and I wore them a lot and they weren't like super trendy at the time, but I've seen them and I've seen them in a lot of different places and they are clogs. <laughs> I feel I used to wear, okay, so the clog Birkenstock, I had like every color in high school. I wore them all the time. Um, I'll share a picture here of those, but also ones with like little like wooden heels. I feel like we're seeing a lot of clogs out there so I I'm not sure about them I'm not sure if I'm gonna go purchase them yet I'm not 100% on board with them but I'm not against them either um, so maybe I'll pick up a pair we'll see but clogs they're kind of everywhere right now Another trend we're seeing out there is cutouts. I'm I'm also kind of like on the edge with this one. Um, I did find a really cute dress. Um, I'll share here. It is adorable. It's kind of like a knit one with a slight cutout um, around here. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I think that I think the cutout thing is really trendy, and it will be kind of more of that flash in a pan rather than some of these denim trends that might stick around a little bit longer. Um, I kind of feel like the cutout thing will kind of be here as a one season and done kind of thing. So I'm not 100% on board with it. I'm not against it, but I'm not totally on like I'm going to go buy everything that's cut out now. So that's just my feelings, I guess. All right, the last two trends. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I probably won't purchase them. I'm not really on board with them, but I'm seeing them everywhere um, And if you like them, I say go for it. You wear what you want to wear, but for me these things are just Probably not gonna end up in my closet one being the bucket hat mm, I just can't get on board with the bucket hat. I'm not into it. I I don't know, I feel like maybe I've been there, done that, because I feel like I wore bucket hats like in middle school or high school and I just, I can't go back there. So the bucket hat is just definitely a no for me. I think they look cute on, maybe it's a younger crowd. <laughs> maybe the younger crowd looks really cute. Um, but for me, the bucket hat, I'm probably gonna take a pass on. All right, the last trend I know I'm not gonna be participating in, and I think this one is for a younger crowd maybe because maybe I'm, I think I'm just too old for this one for sure. Um, being a mom of two, going to the school pickup line, I just can't see myself wearing this, and that is like the bra tops or the crop tops. Just can't go there. I think I'm too old for it. I know I'm too old for it. And it's not going to be worn by me. I think it's really cute. Maybe on like a younger crowd. Maybe that's why I'm thinking it's cute still. But like it's definitely not going to be on my body. I'm not going to be purchasing. So if you're looking for some cute bra tops, I am not the girl to go to for that. But I am seeing them everywhere. So if you're into it, I say go for it. You do you. For me... It's just not gonna happen. Hey right, guys, so those are the fall trends for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe got some inspiration for your fall wardrobe. I'll have everything linked down in the description box down below. Like this video if you did like it and stay and subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.